It is my favorite day of the week. I get to check on the bees today. <laughs> so two weeks ago, I split my three hives in to 12 total. <laughs> um, I've given them some space because it was a big, huge experience. Um, I really stressed them out, obviously, because I'm taking away part of their family. So today's the first day that I finally get to check on them. And the first one I'm gonna check on is my strongest hive. Um, this hive was going to swarm on me. Uh, when I opened it up, I saw so much drone uh, drone brood. And then I saw a bunch of queens right next to it, just all in a cluster, telling me that they were wanting to swarm. So let's see if they're doing better and let's just see what's going on in the hive. <laughs> I'll let you get to take a look at my car. It's, yeah, this is what happens when you're a beekeeper. <laughs> What you looking at? <laughs> okay. Oh, that didn't really work. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. No, really, it's cold here today. <laughs> Gosh dang it. All right, lesson learned. I usually put leaves in there, but the leaves were a little wet today. I guess maybe I shouldn't have done that. Whew. Whew. <coughs> oh. Man. Kill me. Okay, so I almost forgot to put my boots on. This is the hive that stung me in the ankle last time. And my thing's like, there you go. <laughs> um, so I tied them super tight to try to help that. A lot of action today, as expected. I'll show you what's going on. Look at that, isn't that so beautiful? They're already starting to fill it up with honey. Building out the comb, just what I like to see. I just put this new box on. Like I said, this is my strongest hive. Um, this hive freaking kicked butt last year when it came to honey. Oh my gosh, it was so strong. Um, they're Italians, so they're known for their good honey production and that's exactly what I got. <laughs> Ooh, they're building up some honey. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> it's so freaking heavy. <laughs> Dang, this hive's a little aggressive, more aggressive than normal. This is the one that I took seven. I made a split, I split it into seven different hives. So there's a lot of empty frames in here that they still gotta build up and it looks like they're trying. It's a good thing I checked on them because <laughs> um, apparently there's no queen in there. There were no eggs, no brood, no nothing. They have nothing to make a queen. So I'm gonna go to one of my other hives and get some milk brood and throw it in there so that they don't become a laid worker colony. <laughs> Great. I left eggs and brood in there when I split, but I, uh, I honestly didn't give them very much. Like it was, it was pretty thin. I was taking a risk. So apparently I should have put more in there. So let's go get some milk brood. 
All right, so this is my aggressive hive. Um, these were Italians, but then they bred with the local bees, and now they're just, yeah, they're, they're really pissy. <laughs> so let's see if there's some milk brood in here. Um, I also split this one, but I didn't split it as heavy as I did the other one, so there should be some in here. All right, um, I might end up being in a little bit of a predicament because turns out this hive only has one frame of brood and I see that they're making, they have three queen cells. So that tells me that either their queen is gone, maybe I accidentally crushed her, maybe I took the only queen they had out and I didn't see her. Um, but yeah, so not good show you got a queen cell down here got two of them they're already building one out a really small one over here too and over there yeah so I guess I'm gonna go through all my hives until I can find enough milk brew to take because yeah this ain't good and to be honest they're not as aggressive as they normally are either, which is kind of odd. Um, but okay, so I have this other hive. This one, I wasn't even expecting it to make it through winter because it was only like like five frames of bees going into the winter. And what happened was I did a split way too late in the year and they weren't able to get going before the winter hit, um, but they made it. So I don't know, let's see if there's anything in here. And of course, I'm out of smoke. Oh, maybe a little bit. Well, something's going on in my beehives because the queen is not to be found in this one either. And um, there was supposed to be a queen that was supposed to hatch. And I don't know, maybe they she hatched and they swarmed, which doesn't make sense because this hive was pretty weak. Um, but I, I mean, I see a couple queens that are already fully capped up and just waiting to walk out whenever but I'm a little confused on why both of my hives, actually all of my hives don't have queens. So, I have to keep an eye on this one too. All right, here are my other nine hives. Gotta kinda clean up the area still. We just bought this property. Um, but I wasn't planning on digging into them yet, but it looks like I am going to today. <laughs> so I found, two frames of milk brew that I could spare to take from these hives. Um, actually, to my surprise, they're doing pretty good. I got Saskatraz queens and they are freaking kicking butt right now. And they are so calm. I'm not used to calm bees. <laughs> it's so nice. So yeah, let's go through the, throw this milk brood in that other hive real fast. Alrighty, well, it ended up almost a disaster. Might end up being okay. I'm gonna check back in a couple days just to make sure that they're starting to make a queen um, with the, the brood that is there. So yeah, I guess this is truly an example of what not to do. So I definitely split my hive a little bit too thin. I took out way too much brood. Um, Really, I only left them one frame of brood and it probably would have been okay if the queen was still laying eggs, but apparently she wasn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, that did not end up well. That's probably that's probably actually why she ended up dying. Um, she has been in there since I had the hive, so she's pretty old. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. Make sure when you're splitting your hives that you see eggs, like actual, like little tiny larva eggs in your hive um, 
that you're that you're leaving you want to make sure they have something to help set them up to be able to rebound from everything you just did to them so yeah learn from my mistakes hopefully this ends well <laughs> hopefully um it doesn't turn into a laid worker colony uh so yeah follow along if you want to know what happens and i will keep you guys updated Real quick, before you guys go, I also want to mention one other mistake that I made. So when I was going through and I was splitting my hives, I saw that they were preparing to swarm. I saw a brood of just drones packed in there with a bunch of queens right next to them. But I also had a couple frames that there were some uh, capped queen cells on the face of the comb. I just assumed that this would be part of the swarm when no, they were probably super seizure cells. They were probably there because the queen was dying and they knew it. So learn from my mistake. If you see a queen cell on the face of the comb, leave it alone. Leave it in the hive, okay? <laughs> I don't want you to make the same mistake as me. And also I am creating a community on Discord of beekeepers and I would absolutely love for you to be there. I am gonna keep it open 100% free until June 15th. So you have until June 15th to enter. But my whole idea with this is that both beginner beekeepers and experienced beekeepers, we can come here in this group and share all of our knowledge and help each other out and help each other be the best beekeeper we could possibly be. So pretty much like the best beekeeping mentor you could possibly have. So sounds pretty cool, right? So I'll put the link in the description. So I would love to see you there. Please go join, let's chat. We're gonna have a lot of really cool conversations in there. And with that, I will see you in the next one.